thousands of people marched across Zimbabwe today against US and EU sanctions on the country. Those taking part in the government-backed demonstrations say the sanctions have crippled the economy. By the way, that economy is in deep crisis. The IMF reported inflation in August reached 300% and it's predicted Zimbabwe's economy will shrink by 3% this year. But both the EU and the US say the sanctions they've imposed on Zimbabwe do not target the economy and aren't responsible for the country's problems. Here's a quote from an African affairs official with the US State Department, that's Tibor Nagy, and he said, there's a very false narrative out there which I want to correct. Some people say the United States has sanctions against the country of Zimbabwe. We do not, repeat, do not have sanctions against the country of Zimbabwe. We have sanctions against certain individuals and certain corporations, but not against the country of Zimbabwe. There is nothing to stop U.S. businesses from investing in Zimbabwe. Now, to be precise, the U.S. sanctions target 85 uh, officials, that would be government officials, who are, most, uh, who are mostly government officials, that's right. It also bans U.S. companies from dealing with 56 Zimbabwean companies. Some are banks and some are farms. And then there's a ban on military exports to the country. Now, the EU only has sanctions on former President Robert Mugabe and his wife, Grace. Our correspondent spoke to people at the anti-sanctions march in Harare. We are saying no to sanctions again to Zimbabwe. We are trying to do this because we no longer want it here. They must understand that Zimbabwe is suffering. Sanction is a form of neocolonization. That's why as, as a patriotic African Zimbabwean, I have to stand for, for the core. Sanctions have caused us damage in Zimbabwe to the people of Zimbabwe, the companies of Zimbabwe, the schools of Zimbabwe, wherever we are in Zimbabwe, we are facing hardships because of Britain, America and its allies. So we are saying it's enough, it's enough. Now, not all Zimbabweans took part in the government protests against sanctions. Some are of the view that the economic problems are homemade. Dr Ngulego Sibanda joins me from Harare. He'll give us the opposition MDC Alliance's view. Welcome to DW Africa, Dr Sibanda. What is your party's position on the sanctions? Are they stifling the economy? Well, no. Uh, I think that it is very clear to every Zimbabwean that uh, it is mismanagement. Uh, it is the corruption. It is also the irresponsibility of this regime on political um, uh, uh, reforms that is responsible for the economic malaise that the country faces. Look, we have never had uh, uh, no business will invest in a country where people can be killed at no notice and for no particular reason and there is no justice first. Um, Nangagwa instituted a commission of inquiry which didn't uh, turn out with things that okay. he then implemented. Uh, right. We have lost 20 billion to corruption uh, and, and that, that, that's the crisis. Okay, Dr. Zubana, I want to put this quote to you. You have a US official here, Senator Chris Coons, and he says, and I quote, relieving sanctions would provide significant economic life for Zimbabwe because it would encourage foreign direct investment. I mean, this is a US senator basically saying that the sanctions are, are very effective. Well, look, uh, we know that um, the uh, ZANU-PF government has been spending a lot of money, nearly half a million dollars that we don't have, trying to get one or two U.S. Uh, politicians to make positive comments about, about this subject. Here is a fact that every Zimbabwean, and which is why they didn't turn up at the stadium today, knows. It is that uh, the ZANU-PF government is the one that's maintaining sanctions on the people of Zimbabwe and has done so for nearly 40 years. Uh, we know that uh, the ZANU-PF government can unilaterally remove the sanctions uh, uh, imposed by any other country on the basis of uh, simply uh, implementing the reforms that are required okay. by the Zimbabwean uh, constitution uh, and not just by uh, US right. or any other law, any other requirements. Dr. Yeah. Sibande, I, I want to come in here because you, you made an, an allegation against the government. The, the, some government officials have also made the allegations against your party saying that it is the opposition that is going to the West and, and, and calling for more sanctions on Zimbabwe. What do you make of that uh, accusation? Is there truth to that? 
If this government believes that uh, President Chamisa, as the, the leader of the opposition, has the ear and the respect of the international community, then uh, it would be advised to resign and allow the person who is able to command international respect uh, and uh, uh, be in a relationship with other countries to run the country. Remember, they stole this election last year through a rigged process, uh, pretending that they could run the country. Well, they're failing, and they continuously say it is, in fact, President Chamisa who can run things, who, can, uh, who will be able mm. to institute appropriate reform. For, for, for this country to move forward. So I think okay. that then they should just step aside. They are incapable. That's what every leader of a country does. They do well, deal with those, those Dr. such Spanda, issues. Dr. Spanda, let me come in here because it's not only the government of Zimbabwe calling for, for the removal of these sanctions. It's the, it's the, the regional body SEDEC. It's the African Union. Are they missing the mark? Uh, look, uh, uh, they, they, they are doing that. Uh, I don't see why they are doing that because this was supposed to be a sadic day of action and all we saw is that uh, there was no action in South Africa, no action in Zambia, no action in Tanzania uh, and there was no action in Zimbabwe itself. So this is just a group of leaders as Malema from South Africa has uh, said uh, who are misguided. We can see that Zimbabweans shunned this much. It is a laugh of the, of the day today here in Harare. So clearly uh, uh, the, these are some people who are uh, uh, you know, who have illusions about the reality that our people live and how our people understand uh, our situation. The fact of the matter is, is that ZANU-PF has the sole responsibility and can unilaterally deal with any form of sanction that it has placed on the people of Zimbabwe. They are embarrassed today. They have, uh, okay. they have not had, uh, they spent a lot of money and uh, they've got nothing. South Africa uh, has done nothing. That's Dr. Ngulewo Sibanda. He speaks for the MDC Alliance. Thank you.